It happened. It came in. Your new mix amp and gaming headset. But you look around your desk and you find that you're struggling to find a place to put it. You keep shuffling things around, trying to figure out how you're going to get it in. But to no avail. If only there was a way to make something that would hold both your headphones and mix amp. After a little online shopping, I picked myself up this super casting kit from Illumilite. It's a resin mold and casting kit that I'll be using to make my headphone holder. Hey guys, Future Logan here. I just wanted to let you guys know that this project was kind of a big flop. But, it's a good learning experience, so I'm going to go through and kind of point out what went wrong or where I thought that it went wrong. Let's get to it. I used foam core board as a building material to make my prototype. It was easy to work with and I was able to cut it with tools I had around the house. In this case, I was using X-Acto knives. I was able to use a caliper as a straight edge and mark the points where I wanted to cut. In theory, the foam board would be an easy material to work with while prototyping. However, straight lines proved difficult and a lot of trimming was needed. In order to get thicker portions, hot glue was used to bond two pieces together. However, the hot glue ended up leaving gaps that the mold rubber would end up creeping into. Having only calipers as a solid straight edge would prove to be cumbersome. As I progressed, I found that using the foam core actually proved to be quite difficult and tedious at times. Getting the right edges, getting the right bends proved to be really difficult. Although I would eventually find that shaping the foam board was actually probably the easiest part of this, as making the resin molds proved to be really difficult. Uh, this is actually where it kind of went wrong for me, or at least I would believe that it's the biggest flop. because. As you saw there, a chunk of the mold actually came off. With no locally available mold compound and not enough time to ship and cure mold from Amazon, uh, it became quite clear that I wasn't going to be able to finish this, which was kind of unfortunate. Although I did end up ordering more mold compound and do plan on finishing this once the term's over.